Hi there. This is Technology Man's World and today I will tell you that how to download attendance list in Microsoft Teams. So, what is download attendance list feature in Microsoft Teams? So basically, let's say that you're doing a class and now you want to take attendance of the children you have in your class. So you need to just click on an option and that will download your whole attendance list. Now you might wonder that why do you need this? What is the need of this? You can just take it manually. So I'll tell you what are the needs. So, okay, so let's first jump into Microsoft Teams. Here I am. So I uh, scheduled a meeting. It was around time. So let's join. I'm already one minute late. But I hope that Thomas and James are here. Are they? They're not here. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just give them a presentation to Thomas. Just... Okay, I'll request him to join. Maybe. Okay, so Thomas um, accepts it and okay, he joins. Now Thomas is here. Now let's call James. Uh, both of them are not there. Uh, anyway, they are accepting the call. Okay, so they both have accepted the call. And now we all are here so I'll mark them all as present okay so let's say that uh, I was taking the attendance so basically I take before the class and after the class so I told them that okay I marked you to present so I'm just telling them okay so you two are here now I'll mark you to present so let's start the class okay so now I'll start it so but basically these are here and I just start sharing my content so I just go basically there and I just look for anything I have so I have a presentation here and now I'm gonna say this okay so I was making this how to improve a YouTube channel as you know a general topic so th today the first point like what is needed to improve our channel so basically I'm just showing the screen and I'm presenting right now so I was telling that how to improve our YouTube channel so the first point is that you need to make consistent videos so if you don't make videos very consistently viewers will not pay attention and by this James was getting bored and bored and what he suddenly did while I was presenting now I didn't know that uh, uh, James is in this screen because I was presenting so I was not in teams and he suddenly hang up so this is something I did not get to know because uh, I was making my I was showing the PowerPoint presentation here. So Thomas was seeing that he didn't notice it too. And I was telling the point. So Thomas was uh, listening to it, but James ran away. So now I'm telling that that if you don't make videos consistently, viewers will not pay attention to the channel and they will make your videos. Videos disappear. That's making consistent videos important. And then I've come to the point that why would we get it? It's pretty cool. I was telling him basically all that on. And then what happened is that James was ab absolutely did not pay attention to it. But the biggest thing is that James knows that when the class will end. Because I told that it will end. So you can see that I was a standard time. It's from 6.51 to 7.11. I wrote here a reply and I also gave the link. Now he knows that it will end at 7.11. And he was very... Uh, he was very very uh, cruel and he again joined so I was about to end my slide because he knows that I probably like just take like five six minutes just to just throw this thing and all and then I asked them some questions and I just wrap up the session okay so James didn't know anything and he came up there so today I thought that okay so I'll just not ask them questions I'll just take the attendance once more and I'll just uh, wrap up for today so I told that Thomas okay Thomas is here I saw James is here and I marked these two present and I told that okay so now you two revise the chapters so I was just sitting there and they two were revising and finally uh, let's wait for a few minutes okay okay so uh, they were viewing this uh, thing and I uploaded them 
uh, in such a way that they just go through it, you know. They just can just go to the slides and all. Uh, by like, the time is like finally over, and let's just wrap up. So I see Jane, I see Thomas, and I told her, okay, that's it for today, and goodbye. And now, Jane may think that he was present, but what I will do is that I'll click on the show participants. I'll click on the triple dots and I'll click on download attendance list. And now James will be in a big danger here because he was thinking that he is present. But you can see from the attendance list that what will happen. So I'll go to my downloads panel here and uh, here you go. It open and now here you can see the thing. So uh it is showing that basically the time I join. So I joined at 6:52 and uh same for Thomas. I just invited them and they just normally join. But here you can see that James suddenly left and he again joined. Now he took a full uh long break. Now this is just four minutes, but this was just just like short meeting, then like one hour meetings and all. And if you just take a break, like when you're presenting a long PPT, you're doing long things, like spending a long time, and you can't see the people. And when they, you just uh, come at the last minute, they join, then you don't get to know that what's happening. So that's why this attendance list is really important for that. So it will go to your download panel, and you have to just click on it, and you will get the attendance list. So basically, you know that who joined at what time, and who left at what time. And all that stuff. So this is really helpful for ones who want to take attendance manually. Maybe there are thousand students and all, or just want to keep track of students like what, like did they left or for they pay attention and all. So that's the use of the attendance list in Microsoft Team. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, then don't forget to drop a like and also subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon so that you don't miss interesting videos like this. And I'll meet you in the uh. Next video. Till then, bye bye.